the liberals are destroying California and conservative humor gone awry. Conservative humor gone awry is going to fascist California today. So stay tuned. We're going to take a few pictures of the desert and how their policies are actually messing it up. It's not beautiful when you go across that border. But stay tuned, guys. We'll show you exactly what. Uh, we'll show you exactly. Like shooting myself in the head with a thumbs up. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, it still looks like a like a gun hammer though. Yeah, it's good. Okay, okay, yeah. Or like, hey, yeah. Hey, nice. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's enough time, right? I think so. I think we accomplished it. Okay. Hi, I'm Alexander Edward, and I'm Tony Boswell, and we are Minion Death Cult. The world is inning. Uh, we're all responsible in our own ways, and we're also documenting it. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Taking notes. Okay, so we have a lot to get to tonight. Uh, we're going to just jump right in to the episode. First, however, we want to let you folks know that you will not be hearing any commercials. Not uh, one. We have decided to take <clears throat> a pledge to never put commercials on this show. Uh, and that totally depends on you contributing to the Patreon. Absolutely. I mean, I would love a sponsorship for a purple mattress, but we will not be doing that because we'd rather keep our integrity and sleep on mm -hmm. hard things. Yeah, integrity is the, is the softest uh, pillow top mattress you can buy. Um, so you can support the show by going to patreon.com slash minion death cult. Uh, you can support the show non-monetarily by going to youtube.com and subscribing to the video feed which we are doing right now and i mean lucky for you uh tony and i look really good tonight it's true yeah I, it's nice i feel good i feel as good as we look i'm wearing a really cool shirt uh tony's wearing a really cool hat and mm -hmm. it is really cool in general thank you um Got a lot of good stuff going on. YouTube.com slash Minion Death Cult. You'll probably see some cats throughout oh, yeah. the feed. Uh, go there, subscribe, like this video if you are watching. Give us a comment saying, hey dudes, you look exactly as cool as you described in the audio version of this podcast. Exactly. And uh, we'd appreciate you for it. Also, tell a friend. Support the show by spreading the show via word of mouth. It's an excellent way to support the show. I think that everyone should actually listen to this episode at their Thanksgiving gathering. Mm -hmm. Just just like old time days. Yeah. You know, just huddle the, the, the family around the YouTube or the or the old iPod and just listen to this episode. The, the warm glow of the album artwork. You know, it will start a conversation. Uh, and that way Tony gets to be present at a Thanksgiving this year. Yep. Yeah, because I will not be <laughs> attending Thanksgiving uh, with the fam. Yeah. And this is the first year I didn't make plans ahead to like get out of it. So, yeah, I told everyone I'm out of town and I'm not. I'm in town. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to like chill at home and listen to this episode. Listen to this episode and get really high and just eat a tofurkey by myself. Just a whole tofurkey by myself with all the fixings. California Thanksgiving right there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah. MinionDeathCult.com. Uh, youtube.com slash minion death cult patreon.com slash minion death cult thank you to everybody who supports the show okay so we uh as usual have a pretty depressing topic uh up top and that is um that is the shooting of jamel robertson who uh was a security guard at a bar in illinois and he was able to stop another shooting until the cops got there uh, to shoot him. We've yeah. probably all heard this story. And this used to be a, like a joke that we'd make. You know, what's going to happen next? And this keeps on happening. Every single time we have these scenarios, we keep on saying, there's no way, what's going to happen next is this. Like, we never thought Philando would happen. That was wild to us, mm -hmm. you know? And then this is happening where he's literally... <clears throat> You know, we've said it time and time again. 
he's the good guy with a gun. Yeah. Stopping a bad guy with a gun, only to be shot by a worse guy with a gun. Yeah, the writers are really going to have to, like, dial it back because yeah. this stuff's just not believable anymore. Like, uh, it's, it's really, like, stressing our suspension of disbelief in this plot line. Yeah. You know, because, yeah, we had a uh, concealed carry dude, Philando Castile, telling the cop, I have a gun on me legally. Just yep. here's my wallet. I'll, I'll show you. Bam. Yeah. Gets, gets killed. Uh, we have a guy in his own apartment. Uh, both of them Gene gets broken He's, into by a cop and then killed for daring to be in his own apartment. Um, and yeah, now this hero, absolute hero, Jamel Robertson stopping a shooting, putting his own life on the line for, for less than half of what cops make. Oh, way less. Yeah. Apprehending a suspect without killing him was holding this suspect at gunpoint. With, you said without killing him. Gets shot. Gets shot by a fucking cowboy cop running in, not knowing the situation. Guns blazing. Yeah. So this Yahoo News, um, I mean, this is literally like the good guy with a gun. Yeah. Who's the only detriment to a bad guy with a gun. Um, this is like the NRA fantasy. This it, is the perfect NRA fantasy. Well, it's you almost know, perfect. It's almost perfect, except for, you know, like... They they wish he would have maybe been a like a, a defensible skin color exactly someone someone who doesn't you know you know rap maybe uh, like that's what they wanted but this is like somebody great... who doesn't like play music for their church <laughs> exactly you know yeah it's too uh, it's too flashy yeah someone who isn't busy you know making sure that all the kids in the schools are fed including his own his own nine month old son that he was working extra shifts to pay for Chris. This is like fucking, yeah. incri this is like, this probably isn't an appropriate phrase, but this is like laughably heartbreaking. Yeah. It, it's, it's like absurd how, how, uh, how miserable this is. This situation is. It, it, it's as bad as you could make up. Mm -hmm. It's that bad. And that's what I'm saying. Like the, the, uh, the writer's room is getting a little too saccharine yeah. for my taste. A little too heavy-handed, you know? Um, yeah, this is a good guy with a gun stopping a bad guy with a gun. And then the cops come and stop the good guy with a gun. Mm -hmm. Stop forever, you know? So, uh, obviously, everyone, almost everyone is outraged about this. But because um, we're Minion Death Cult and we specifically seek out like the worst parts of humanity it's and the worst parts do. of the internet. We didn't, did not have a problem finding terrible takes on this. Um, but before we get to that, um, I'm going to go through a couple, just, I want to highlight like what actually happened and how the police have responded to what they fucking did to this guy mm -hmm. and his family. Um, so like this Yahoo news headline kind of says it all. Police suggest security guard hero to blame for his own death because the cop's official statement now is that the killer cop in question told him told jamel to drop his gun several times repeatedly i think is the word they use repeatedly yep uh and then opened fire when he just didn't drop the gun you know it he does they don't even say that he pointed the gun at them no they just say he refused to follow the command they just said he wasn't listening now, if you read any of the other witness statements, any of them, each each one more opposing to what we just heard than the next, uh, the statements from the witnesses are incredibly damning to the police force. Uh, I had to restart my computer, so I'm just pulling up uh, the exact quotes here. Jaquia Woods lives in a house adjacent to Manny's parking lot. This is from a new NPR article. She said officers already on the scene had asked, Ro had asked Robertson to release the suspect, and Robertson was complying when another officer came through the bar's back door. Quote, before Robertson could get up off of him, the officer comes flying out this door, gun up. Woods said Tuesday afternoon while standing on her porch. He says, get on the ground, and before he says ground, he fires the first shot. Right there. 
Everybody is screaming and hollering, she said. Even the officers were screaming and hollering. He's one of us. He's one of us. He's a security guard. He works here. Witness Adam Harris told WGN-TV he saw the same thing. Everybody is screaming out he's a security guard. Just a, t a, t a hellish, a hellish scene. Can you imagine witnessing this? You, you would, you, how could you feel safe? Never. You, and, and I don't, it's not reported in this article, but I have a quote here uh, from Fox News. This is a quote from Fox News. One second. Another security guard at the tavern said the officer jumped onto the bar and waved an assault rifle before running outside and fatally shooting the guard. So this cop jumped up on yeah. the bar inside the tavern like fucking Scarface, waving an assault rifle, looking for somebody to shoot. So wild. And right here... Where is it? The surviving guard told him, the lawyer representing the family, told him that the officer pointed a gun at him until he screamed at him that he was a security guard. Uh, so it's not mentioned in the NPR article, but I'm assuming the gun that was used to kill Jamel was a assault I'm rifle. I'm assuming so, yeah. Was an, you know, yeah. a, a rifle. Like, just came out like... Like he was SWAT, yeah. like he was an, a, a, a cool ass operator this in the was Middle his East. His time to shine. Yeah, <clears throat> he was like hoping, like I hope they have security footage in here, <laughs> so they can see how awesome I looked when I jumped on the fucking bar. He's like holding up his rifle to the camera so that it captures the engraving on the on the muzzle that says "You're fucked." Yep. <laughs> um, uh, and like, I'll I'll tell you, as somebody who's been security at a bar, when the cops come, they don't give a fuck. Like, like, what do you mean? They don't give a fuck about what? If you're like, if you're security or not, they just they just want to bust up everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so I've you know I mean I don't I've I've had moments where they've like you know had my back I guess which sucks, but um you know most times they don't give a fuck they just everyone they hate everyone and they want everyone to be in trouble, you know and yeah. like it's 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 I've been punched in the face like multiple times. And like knew I couldn't punch him back in that exact moment, and all they cared about was whether I punched somebody. And I'm like, look at my face, man. Look at my face. I didn't. Don't yep. worry about what I did. I didn't do anything. They just want everyone in trouble. Um. So let's get into comments here. I mean, this is obviously like awful. Our hearts go out to the family of Jamel Robertson. Like that. Absolutely. That's it. It's such Absolutely. a such a corny thing to say what else can we say about it you know uh spencer 60 has something else to say about it you want to read this one tony spencer 60 says just what can the nra do so the name of this yeah. article was like nra silent about jamel robertson's killing where, where are they to protect this law-abiding gun owner basically that was the article on yahoo i think no i don't think that's what that was i don't remember the nra thing yeah oh we're talking about different articles then it was the narrative of the good guy with the gun doesn't apply when it's a black man oh that was the article i was just from the main article that was just, just said uh i don't think that's from i think it's just from the one that just said um white officer kills black security guard they just brought the nra into them themselves Okay, well, there were articles about oh, yeah, like, no, no, the this, NRA's this lack of support. From that. This one's for... just this one's just from a random article. They brought the NRA in themselves completely independently. They just did it because that's just where it well, goes. Well, somebody else, I'm sure, because they're replying to somebody, so somebody else probably said, "Where's the NRA support?" Just in the co in that comment section. Uh, no, this was. I think this was just this. But was he's just... saying, "Just what can the NRA do?" Yeah, so he's I... responding to somebody else who brought up the NRA. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who he's responding to. That's though. right. Yeah. But so he's just saying, like, kind of pities the NRA, right? So what can the NRA do? They represent gun owners, not police or security officers. 
and they have funded legal support for plenty of black gun owners over the years. Okay, I, so let me stop you there. Go ahead. Yeah, I have no evidence of that. I've I've <laughs> not, never seen anything about. I don't think they ever came out for Philando. They ever came out for Philando. I don't know of any cases where they would because they would be touting those things at this moment if they were smart. Literally, like the girl from uh, uh, TP USA, the TP USA diaper girl, Caitlin yeah. uh, Bennett, I think her name is. She like runs Liberty Hangout. Mm -hmm. They posted about this shooting and didn't editorialize necessarily but it's clear that they are actually far more libertarian than most of the supposed like bootlicking libertarians yeah. that are out there you know yeah. and <clears throat> the comment section for that liberty hangout was wild it was basically like uh if this dude's friends and families don't kill this cop they're pussies yeah it was pretty <clears throat> pretty intense yeah it was interesting but um yeah, NRA hasn't said anything about this, but this comment defending the NRA, they represent gun owners, not police or security officers. Um, actually, the Psych. NRA literally trains and certifies law enforcement instructors. They are heavily involved with, uh, with law enforcement in yep. this country. They give discounts to, to cops. Well, everyone should give discounts to cops. <laughs> It's weird. Even cops like don't ask for that. All, all cops are bargain hunters. No, actually, I I say even cops don't even ask for that. Like, uh, the, at, at the bike shop, for instance, no, they don't even ask for that. Military does all the time, but cops don't ask for that because, like, I don't think they want to bring that into it necessarily. Yeah, I will get people that say first responders. Well, they don't want to be targeted by by a Black Lives Matter person. Totally like right. You. Yeah. I, yeah. Maybe they don't ask me. Ask me. That would make some sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. They, I've never. Everyone should give discounts to cops, but that means I just like don't let them pay for anything, don't let them buy anything, just have them leave. Uh huh. You get the no service discount. Yep. Yeah. Um, finish the last half of this comment or the last part of this comment. Uh, this is another case of this is another case of blue on blue shootings. Amazing. W what? What? They happen a lot when cops are trained to think that if anyone with a gun is a bad guy. So now the security has been upgraded to blue. Yeah, he got promoted from black to blue. <laughs> from black to blue. <laughs> and like I said, I would I, I I don't think the blue <laughs> would be too stoked for that. Isn't that like isn't that uh black cop Instagram account you started following called black and blue? But yeah, black and blue. It's exactly. No, it's not. That, it's called like cops of color. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's called like <laughs> It should uh, be called black and blue because they because they take such a beating from the the leftist <laughs> activists. That's that's gonna be my new account that I start. <laughs> that along with uh with the thick thick blue line. Thick blue line. Uh, T h i c c. T Tony has a real problematic thirst for uh, sexy cop lady Instagrams. <laughs> I have found a new fascination with this. There's a bunch of like. Believe it or not, but this cop's actually hot under the uniform. And I, I like both the men and the women, but I'm probably going to start a new feed called Thick Blue Lives. <laughs> yeah. Thirst Responders. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And that, that way we can cover the EMTs and such. Yeah, and yeah, the exactly. They all deserve yeah. it. They all yes, deserve the recognition. Yes. <laughs> What's crazy is about about this like this is just another case of blue on blue crime. Like I I think there's an actual color for security guards. I think they're like yellow or something. <laughs> I think they're you know cuz like yeah. everybody's trying to get on get in on like the 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 valor, you know, and like or no no no, yellow is like x-ray technicians. <laughs> I'm I'm it's radiologists. Radiologist. I'm not even joking. I saw that shirt. Did you have you seen the flag though with one yellow stripe? Because that I want that one. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, it's like fuck. a vertical flag with a yellow stripe, and, it, and it's got like the the nuclear radiation warning. That's sick. Radiology lives matter. Yes, <laughs> yes. Hey, there's only it's a thin piece of it's a thin piece of lead that protects me from skin cancer. You know. <laughs> I stand in the fire line every day <laughs> to make sure we get your. I stand on the front lines, and by that I mean this this red line that demarcates the distance that the radiology. 
we're the radiation get, we're gonna travel. get docs and never get a good x-ray again we're gonna get false diagnosis just all get the, time the bad now. x-rays like the z-rays <laughs> uh, kind of penetrate anyways yeah and yeah this happens a lot when cops are trained to think of anyone as a, with a gun as a bad guy who is training these cops oh yeah it's the nra, NRA. yeah we get a <laughs> well i think it, that's the purpose of it yeah. um okay next comment this is also yours oh jay reams <sighs> i think he does yeah i think probably more than likely this is a common a common theme throughout the entire thing the media needs to stop reporting color the media needs to stop reporting color. The media needs to stop reporting color. If it isn't something to judge by. Hang on, sorry. Okay, this is your comment. Cool. Jay Reams. Jay Reams. Jay Reams. Uh, we haven't looked into it, but we think that that's an accurate username. We feel fairly confident that it's uh, not a misnomer. We think Jay does that. Uh, <laughs> good for Jay. Good for Jay. Uh, this is a common theme. The media needs to stop reporting color. If it is something to judge by, why is it mentioned? If it isn't in, something. If it isn't something to judge by, uh, why is it mentioned in every event like this? Apparently, they want color to matter. Why are they pushing this color thing? It's yeah. like it's not a big deal. Why are they acting like racism exists yeah. if it doesn't exist? It's just it was coincidental that these, you know, <clears throat> black men are killed by white cops. Mm -hmm. It's not important. I love this, like, if it isn't something to judge by, why is it mentioned at every event like this? Well, so he, so the argument is that the left is saying color shouldn't matter. Oh my God, that's exactly what's happening. And there. he's saying, well, if it shouldn't matter, then it doesn't matter at all. And why are you reporting on it? Look, like, I don't like black people for the same reason you guys like talking about the fact that a black man was killed. You know, like, it's obviously important. We got to talk about it. Mm hmm. You got to talk about it. You're talking about it. Let me talk about it. It's like, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why can't I talk about it? If it's, you know, if it, but apparently they want color to matter. Yeah. So his argument is that like, if you keep reporting on white cops shooting black people, they're going to think that that's their job. They're going to think that black people are the people that get shot. And so that's who they shoot. This, it's not their fault. They're just following what you're telling them you're, what happens. You're fueling racism. <laughs> you're doing this to yourself. Weird comment. Yeah. Fucking wild. Like the whole argument, the whole reason for reporting this is that it does happen. It's exactly that. Is that it does happen at a, at a disproportionate... At an alarming rate. Yeah. yeah. It, it, come on. The leftist argument against racism isn't that racism is bad, therefore it doesn't exist. Yeah. It's that <laughs> look at what keeps on happening okay uh do you want me to read this one since it's so small yeah please oh this is so good though let me comment uh says whether oh this is a blue star boy so this is uh fox news yeah it's fox news let me comment says whether you are a security guard or a citizen carrying concealed one law and once law enforcement arrives you follow their instructions to a t if they tell you to drop the weapon it should hit the ground before they finish the command. Ooh. So, so Ooh. if they tell you to drop the weapon, you should have dropped the weapon before they say the word weapon. Yes. When I would get confused, drop the, drop, the, drop the attitude. Like I don't know what they're gonna say. I need to follow this command, so I need to hear the rest of it. Well, you it's know? like you know, on time is five minutes early. So like. <laughs> You better drop that because he's gonna right. he's gonna be punctual for sure. You need to look professional. He's for sure gonna drop the weapon before your appointment with the killer cop. See, he didn't say like he started to pull the trigger before he said ground, but like he finished as ground was finished. Mm -hmm. So like he released it at that point. So you should have been way ahead of that. Um. Yeah. This is crazy. You know the art. The the this comment is basically like. You know cops are crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know cops are just, like, itching to kill you. You do know this. You should be aware of this. They, If they tell you to drop the weapon, it should hit, like... I, I'm just picturing, like, a cop, like, 
breaking down your front door and saying right hand green and you're like oh ah. shit what <laughs> um this is it, it's it's this is like it sounds like a crazy comment it sounds like a weird like wild comment but it's not this is like when you live in an authoritarian kind of police state mm -hmm. like america mm -hmm. this is the logic behind it yeah the logic is like you need to react with superhuman ability in order not to be shot by us. I, you you need to react better than the cops in order not to be shot. This is a, an argument that's made been made plenty of times. Uh, as a person, you know, I'm not a person of color, but like as a person of color, you have to maintain a level of composure that the police officer does not yes. have to maintain. It's like I mean the the to be to be uh to be an aware person of color in America is to be in a constant state of rage. To be an aware person of color in America is to always be terrified of the cops. Is what they're saying, but they're not saying it the same way I am. Yeah. I'm waiting for the comma that says like, you know you wouldn't have died if you were wearing body armor. <laughs> you do know that you should not go outside without wearing body armor because there are cops out there. Yeah. You do know that, right? I mean, their argument is like you're not afraid enough of cops. Yeah. But then once once one once one black man gets shot wearing body armor, they're going to start only carrying armor piercing armor rounds. Armor piercing rounds, totally. Yeah. Well, I know he was a, I know he was fine, but what if he wasn't fine? <clears throat> um well, they'll just like start knifing unarmed black men, you yeah. know, cuz you could like push it slowly through the the armor bayonets. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, like you have to, like, I mean, my mind, it's, it was, it was a white guy, but my mind harkens back to that scene in that hallway with that cop who literally did have, I think it was your fucked engraved on his rifle on hit the rifle that he used on the job, giving that guy, that poor fucking guy whose name I don't remember conflicting commands in that hallway of yep. that of that hotel yep. or motel because they thought he was somebody else mm -hmm. they thought he was a shooter that they were trying and just literally like telling him crawl no hands up hands up and crawl toward me yep. how does somebody do that well i don't know but i know how somebody gets shot it's yeah. by not obeying those uh totally conflicting and contradictory he literally commands. wanted them to do the worm toward him that's yeah. that was yeah. the goal D like yeah put your leg over your head and somersault toward me yeah um all right last part of this comment that said so after all this terrible shit i just said about uh, a man who was killed for for being literally a hero for saving lives <clears throat> that said condolences to the family and friends of jamel robertson kudos to kanye west yeah. So this is like leading to the next part of this episode about Kanye West uh, donating money to the family of Jamel Robertson. Kudos to Kanye West and prayers to the officer who has to live with a decision he cannot take back. And like, yes, let's all take take this time to be really sad for the guy who killed uh, yeah. Jamel Robertson, who seemed like really eager to kill somebody and got his wish. Um, and it's just really sad that it happened to be a good guy, you know? Yeah. Better not next, next time, you know. Maybe next time you do this, it'll be uh, it'll pan out a little more optically because you're gonna get another chance to do this because <laughs> you're gonna remain a cop. Yeah, and, and it's just, gonna get another cop job. And it is really sad because like you know Jamel was like Jamel is free now. You know he's like untroubled by the pains uh, and tragedies of this earth. And um, this officer whose name you know we're not allowed to know. Yeah. Uh, has to live, has to live with his decision. I mean, not only that, but now he's been freed from the shackles, the shackles of the Democratic plantation. Fine, free at last. Free at last. Awful, awful stuff. 